In today's review, we got the Ezzy Switch, the two-in-one disposable. You can change the flavor, and we got the Chubo, the Chubo bar, 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 gar, bar. The V-Bar Kubo. We got the V-Bar Kubo. We're going to unbox these two bad boys and see which one wins in this ultimate battle. So stay tuned to find out. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Fun Duck and thank you for tuning in on this beautiful day, you sexy people. All right, let's get into the unboxing. I know the Ezzy Switch is already unboxed. That doesn't matter because we're stronger. It's okay, I guess I'm going back to my old roots. Uh, the flavor we got today for the V-Bar, the Chubo, Kubo, whatever you want you want to call it, I'm not supposed to be swearing on camera, is black ice. I guess blackberry? Blackberry ice? Yeah, it does show a blackberry on it. It says black ice. That's really interesting. And oh, okay, just took it out of the package. This you love to see. This is what you love to see. When packages are pretty, the vape is pretty. Everything about it is pretty. This packaging is top of the line. One of the best I've seen. I absolutely love it. Kubo, you're doing a great job. We're going to slide that open. Oh. Oh, yeah, daddy. Stepdad. Stepmom. FBI, open up! The vape is very, very square. Believe it or not, it is square. It's really cool. Kind of like the hide edge, you know, hide edge rechargeable. Mouthpiece is there. There's, there's silicone on the top, of course. Nothing at the bottom. And this is looking really smooth. It has a nice matte finish to it. Really pretty looking device. And here they are. Side by side, up close and personal. Looking really pretty. Obviously, the Ezzy Switch is a little taller, and the Kubo or V Bar Kubo, however the frick you want to say it, is shorter, but obviously more square. So, we're going to talk about some. We're going to talk about some specifications with both these vapes and see what the difference between these two is before we start vaping these bad boys. All right. The Ezzy Switch has 2,400 puffs, and the V-Bar Kubo has 2,200 puffs. Nah, not that much of a difference. They both have 1,000 milliamps of battery, a big whopping of 1,000 milliamps. They also both have 6.5 milliliters of juice. Oh, this is a close race. And are both 5% nick. Unbelievable. But the only difference is there is no difference. Well, yeah, the only difference is the Ezzy Switch. You could switch the flavors. Why can't I switch the flavors? Oh yeah, the, the, the knob is at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. But you can switch the flavors and the two flavors we have here are bubble gum and strawberry cum. <sighs> strawberry ice, ice. We got these two bad boys here together and we're gonna see which one wins in this ultimate battle by testing out the clouds and flavor. We're gonna start off with the Ezzy switch. We're gonna try out bubble gum and strawberry ice. And first, I guess we're gonna start off with uh, strawberry ice. So let's test the clouds and flavor right now. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Okay, that was bubble gum. The clouds were great. Flavor was great. Now let's test out also the strawberry ice. Right now I just sl flipped the knob, you know, like I flipped the freaking knob, whatever. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. You taste so good. I'm oh, in a singing yeah. mood. Flavor and clouds are great. The device, nice and smooth. So cool that you can switch the flavors. I love disposables that do that. Really, really good, but we can't knock down the V-Bar Kubo. I don't know if the frick I'm saying, if I'm saying that right. Can't knock that down yet. We got black ice. Let's test out the clouds and flavor as well. I'm seeing more clouds. <laughs> And I'm seeing an amazing amount of flavor. Not seeing it, but I'm feeling it. And I'm tasting it. Oh, that blackberry, whatever it is, black eyes. <sighs> oh, it's freaking good, man. Really, really tasty. It does taste like black currants, black currants, currants. Tastes great, whatever. But we can't give it its true credit yet. We gotta max this baby out and see its true potential and see if it can handle the fun duck test. Let's max this baby out right now. <laughs> that just popped a, a brain cell. They are both great devices, but who wins in this ultimate battle? 
I'm gonna have to say the V Bar Kubo. Why? Because the flavor is way better, kicks ass, kicks both these flavors' asses, really. And it is smaller and nice and cubed and super, super smooth. So I highly recommend the V Bar. It is around $20 to $25, depending on where you get it, as well as the Ezzy Switch if you want two in one flavors, which is also a great device. Thank you, everybody, for tuning into this week's video. Thank you to my new viewers and subscribers for tuning in once again as well. If you want to see the full review of the Ezzy Switch, you can check it out right up there.